Hey guys, this is Cameron from jazzham.com. Jazzham.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make those videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves and the comfort of their own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online. If you know, and if you want to know the price of the watch, simply click on the links in the description below. We would greatly appreciate it if you would buy a watch from jazzham.com once in a while. All right, so today we're gonna to be reviewing the Rolex Yachtmaster 2. This is the model number 116688. We'll be going over the dial, bezel, case, crown, bracelet, clasp, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. All right, so jumping right into the dial, we have the beautiful white, uh, flat white dial, accented by these nice colorations of bordering of blue with red, red triangular indentes uh, between these black Arabic numerals. This specific uh, sort, of, uh, sort of horseshoe shaped uh, lining of numerals here is the programmable countdown that goes with the bezel and the crown functions. I won't be covering that in this video. We actually do have a standalone video on how to use the programmable countdown feature for this watch and I'll link it in the description below if you're interested. But we're going to go ahead and continue on with the uh, specific portions of the dial. The hour markers are nice square hour markers fashioned 18 karat yellow gold, a rectangular marker at the 6 o'clock position, and a triangular marker at the 12 o'clock position. Specifically, there was a change. I believe it was around 2018 when the, they updated the Yacht Master 2, um, Yacht Master 2 without changing the reference number. Just quick uh, small updates to the dial. And th th those were one of the changes. The triangular 12 and the six, uh, six o'clock uh, rectangular marker. The hands as well were changed. They used to be blue sword steel hands, but now we have a beautiful, uh, easy to read Merce uh, Mercedes hand for the hour hand that's luminous filled as well. And the luminous only uh, luminous filled towards the center portion while skeletonized towards the tip for the minute hand. And of course we have the, uh, the, central, the central, uh, central countdown hand here at the 12 o'clock position. At the six o'clock position, we have the uh, gold subdial. You can see glistens very nicely in light, and that subdial is used to track a lap. Uh, used to track the seconds, so 60 seconds. You can see in the Arabic numerals from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and indices for the five-minute increments in between each Arabic numeral. All right, moving on to the bezel now. The bezel, we have a blue ceramic ring command bezel, as Rolex calls it. It's 18 karat yellow gold Arabic numerals, again, from the zero, uh, from the zero to the 10 with the Yacht Master 2 name underneath. The blue ceramic, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, very reflective and is also very scratch resistant as well. Moving on to the case now, the case size is a 44 millimeter case size. So from an index finger to my thumb here, that's 44 millimeters in diameter. And from the side profile of the watch, it is a, a thicker watch, uh, thicker than the usual Rolex pieces, mainly because of the complication, having that programmable countdown along with the uh, separation of the, of the seconds into a sub dial and just the different programmable features. We have a nice beautiful high polish on the side of the side of the casing matching very beautifully with the high polish on the side of the bracelet. On the other side as well, you can see that nice high polish uh, throughout the casing, side of the bracelet once more, and even on the crown protectors, you can see the nice uh, high polish there. Moving on to the crown functions, the crown is a trip lock, triple waterproofness system. It unwinds counterclockwise as shown. Specifically, there's only two positions this crown can be in, and we're already in the standard position or the first position and where you can wind the watch. About 15 to 20 clockwise turns is all you need to get the watch started once more. Pulling the crown out to the next position will allow you to adjust the hands bi-directionally as shown. And it does stop the second hand at the, sub, at the six o'clock sub dial there. So you can set it down to the exact seconds, such as to an atomic clock online, you can set it down to the exact seconds. All right, moving on to the the bracelet now, the bracelet is an oyster style bracelet, nicely beautiful, uh, nicely made in 18 karat yellow gold, nice high polish down the center of the three piece links, satin finish on the outer of the three piece links, nicely patterned with the high polish even on the lugs, on the lugs of the case, even on the top and the bottom as well, you can see. An overall nice proportional view as well, I wanna give you a farther look at this, so you can see uh, the tapering from the, from the links back you can see it keeps nice in proportion for the front so it doesn't look like it's sitting on a very thin uh, very thin bracelet. You see the tapering stops towards these sort of back towards the class links. 
the patterning of polish goes even throughout the class as well nice and finish on the sides with the high polish down the center you can see it patterned throughout the whole bracelet the class itself is a safety folding oyster lock simply located by the Rolex Trust crown logo there you can open up the safety and there's the folding oyster portion you can see a very beautiful high polish of the class blades with the Rolex name embossed on there so that's how the watch looks opened up Specifically for the class extension feature for this Rolex watch, where it uses an easy link style extension, which you can see here, there'll be a little indentation right under, right behind, and right behind and in front of the bracelet, the bracelet itself there. And that allows for five millimeter, ext five millimeter extensions, meaning you can, if it's a hot summer day, your wrist swells up a little bit, then you can adjust for that little breathability on your wrist. And of course, vice versa on colder days, so it's not shaking around everywhere on your wrist as well. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the movement now. The movement is housed in a simple oyster case backing. You can see a nice uh, satin finish towards the very top portion of it, but then bordered by a nice high polish and then another high polish on the very outer edge of it. The movement itself is an in-house made movement by Rolex. It is a 4161 movement uh, that is a mechanical, per uh, perpetual mechanical self-winding movement. And as they call it, a regatta chronograph as the programmable countdown is used to track a uh, countdowns for the regatta the regatta races the boat races or yacht races and a 10 minute programmable countdown that can be synchronized to match the official race race countdowns um, the the movement itself features obviously these movement the functions of the hour minute and sec seconds hand in the sub dial there and of course so that sort of uh, of the countdown with the central hand and the uh, additional hand here to point to, to the programmable portion. The power reserve of this watch is a 72 hour power reserve, meaning you can put this watch down on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Sunday afternoon, it'll be keeping time and just fine. And additionally, the for the hairspring, it uses a pair of magnetic blue percomb hairspring, which has additional resistance against magnetism. And it does have uh, Rolex's own in-house made updated shock absorbers, which are the Paraflex shock absorbers, which they claim absorbs 50% more shock shocks than the industry standard KIF shock absorbers absorbers all right now let me actually go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist now we're gonna go ahead open up the safety opening up that folding oyster place that folding oyster and the safety back and there we are so very very beautiful watch it is a larger larger size watch as it being a 44 millimeter so it takes a little more wrist space and you, as you can see still a little bit of wiggle room underneath my wrist there so this fits in a fits a seven and a half inch wrist at the most and i do have average amount of size wrist of a seven inch wrist you can see it does sit high off does it sit a little bit high off the wrist so it won't fit under suit cuffs chest cuffs as easily as other rolex watches that are a little bit uh thinner in that regard but still absolutely beautiful watch absolutely luxurious and just being in full 18 karat yellow gold and just having that simple white dial with the nice accents of that of the blue from the bezel from the programmable countdown even the little red accents add a little bit more to the nice contrast and the overall uniqueness of the watch itself so if you're interested in this watch or any other watch for the lowest possible price check out our website jazztime.com our lowest price is guaranteed we offer a one-year warranty and if you like the video please like comment subscribe below thanks for watching hope to see you guys soon if you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on the mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists if you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us.
If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazz time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.